What's up America? This is Kim with Geauga Firearms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today we got a really fun video. After a lot of requests, I decided to finally check out the Flashbang Bra Holster. So let's get started. So when I started doing my research, the first thing I noticed is I watched several videos and there was probably like I've watched at least a half dozen and there's just a lot of girls just scared holding it on top of their shirts and it didn't really explain how it worked and I was confused so hopefully this video will help you out have a little fun with us I'm gonna say boobs a lot we're gonna make a lot of jokes and I'm gonna show you how to safely use it all right guys this is obviously the serious portion of this review as you guys know we're not known to be unboxers where I just show you something oh, here's another box we extensively uh, use our equipment to make sure that the reviews that we give you are as accurate as possible. Now, I can tell you that I've been wearing this extensively. I've been using it around town. Um, I, one of the things with the success of YouTube uh, that we've been so honored to have, uh, we get a lot more attention. Um, I, I don't know what to tell you, but it seems as though I'm being recognized in more places now uh, with this particular setup. A lot of people kind of pointing and talking and whatnot. Um, I've had it uh, in, uh, in a beach environment. I've uh, trained many classes this way. I find that it's uh, maybe perhaps a bit distracting for the students, um, but as a, as a concealment holster, I think the key that we need to take away is that it conceals. And you know, as I look at myself here in the in the reflection from the from the camera, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to say the word. I think it prints. I really do. I mean, to me, it just seems like you can tell at this moment that uh, perhaps I have a firearm on me. And um, that's kind of a deal breaker, guys. I do find that it is very comfortable, though. Um, you know, I've been wearing it for, uh, again, many days, all day long. Um, I, I like the fact that it kind of mirrors that of a tactical setup on a molly vest, you know, where I, I can uh, go ahead and access my firearm. So that I do like. And, of course, it does have a solid trigger guard. Okay, now I also want to go over some uh, pairings. And I would say that uh, a type of tactical uh, shirt like this one, where you can tear it away and then you have access that is, uh, I think, really complements uh, the, the wear of this. But again, guys, um, I, I just feel that uh, there's a printing issue, but besides that, uh, a solid holster from my experience. Now let's look at how you put it on. There are three different ways you can wear it. When it comes, it comes with this really short strap on, which, which is the, they call the high carry. Uh, this is for custom carry. You can put kind of move it around a little bit. And then the longer ones are for uh, the bottom carry or low carry. When it comes, it comes with the uh, high carry, the shorter strap already put on, which I don't know who the heck wants to wear that one because either you have to put it like under your boobs or it goes like on top of your boobs and it just makes like this really weird shaped boob. And it was, it was not comfortable at all. I, uh, in order to change it, you actually have to get a screwdriver out and take it off. And then I put on the, um, a longer one and that made it a lot more comfortable. The first thing you want to do when you get it is that you're going to want to take the strap off altogether and just kind of figure out where you're going to wear it. So you're going to put it in your shirt and see what feels most comfortable. To put it in the low position, you're going to pull your shirt up and you're going to take this holster and you're going to tuck it into your bra and take the strap and wrap it around and connect it with the button and now you're able to put your gun in putting the gun in is a little tricky and i'm just going to do it on camera because i want you to see that i'm struggling to do it so it's not something that's really easy to do or simple what you want to do is obviously keep your finger off the trigger and you're going to want to push the butt of the gun in first and then it's a really tight fit I found the best way to put it on is to actually take it out of your bra for a moment because it's just so hard to see over your body to see what you're doing. So you're going to take the butt of the gun and you're going to put it in there. Make sure your finger's off the trigger guard and now you're able to tuck it into your bra. It does change the way your bra fits because your bra's not meant to have a big gun and holster in it. So you're going to notice you have like a gap in the front. So it's a little awkward, especially if you're wearing like a lower cut shirt, you'd have to be really careful when you're bending over, you didn't flash everybody. So besides your my awkwardly shaped boobs, they actually is concealing really well. I mean, you can't really tell I'm wearing it. So contrary to Neil's experience, you can't really tell I'm wearing it. So drawing takes some practice, um, just like we teach with every other draw, you wanna always use your, 
your shooting hand to clear your garment because who knows what where this hand's gonna be. Hopefully it's a bonus hand, it can help hold up your garment. So we're gonna draw up, hold it with the other support hand if it's available, and then you're gonna rip it off. So drawing is really difficult. They make this thing so tight and it's like just a folded piece of Kydex so there's no way to adjust the retention or anything. And it's really tight in there, which makes sense because you know you have to think the gun is just hanging there and the pressure of your, you know, of it being pressed against your body, but they, they wanna make sure it doesn't come out, but it also makes drawing really difficult. It almost feels like you're gonna like rip your bra. I'd be curious to know if there are people who've worn it for like quite a while, like months, and it doesn't wear your bras out because it's, it's you really gotta use some force to rip it out of there. I found that wearing it with a nicer bra that was more sturdy worked a lot better. I had some like little cheap Target bras I tried it with and it just, it, it wouldn't hold it in place very well and it made drawing really difficult. So you do need a really nice bra, but like I said, you might spend a lot of money on a nice bra and then it, you know, it might not hold up very long. The things I like about it, I like that it's Kydex and it has that nice trigger guard and so it is safe and it's giving lemon another option so they don't have to carry off body. If you do it right, it does conceal really well. And I like the fact that it comes with all the different adjustment straps because you can change it. You could even wear it with a sports bra. I don't know how that well that would hold up, but um, you know, it gives you lots of options. Overall, it was a really interesting product. I like that it does have a nice trigger guard and it gives women different options, but it wasn't very comfortable for me wearing it the whole day. The grip of the gun would poke into your abdomen, which wasn't very comfortable. I'd love to hear from if there are any women out there who do use it and carry it every day and find it it comfortable? What do you do? How do you like it? What makes it comfortable? That's it guys. I hope you had some fun with us today. Some laughs. If you like this video, please like, share, comment. We always love hearing from you guys. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. Click that little bell so you get notified every time we put a video out. You can find us on Instagram, on Facebook, and we put all of our premium content on Patreon. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6. Is this the right way? The other way. <laughs> All right, so I will tell you this from my experience when I went to purchase this uh, this bra. Uh, just like all gear, don't chintz on your equipment. Uh, definitely, I want to echo what Kim said that having a quality bra is definitely uh, a benefit when you're carrying this uh, when you're carrying your gun this way. A cheap bra is just not going to cut it. So put your shirt back down. <laughs> okay, you ready? It's still recording. Oh. This is like the funniest video ever. It's a really tight fit. I can't see my boobs. Obviously I've extensively worn this uh, particular holster setup. I've um, you can't laugh. I can't laugh. Okay, I thought.